Hey everybody, I'm here with this week's creative pep talk and I wanted to talk to you about how to deal with daunting stuff. So if you have something that seems really, really big and impossible that you want to tackle, if you try to tackle it all at once, the best case scenario is that it'll knock you out and you'll land on the floor out cold. And that's why a lot of people don't get very far when they try to tackle something really daunting. We talk ourselves out of it. We decide it's impossible. We decide, eh, maybe I don't really wanna do this so much. And then we never do it. And then we're disappointed in ourselves because we really wanted to do it. But we can't seem to get out of this cycle that says it's too much, I can't handle it. That's why I'm here today because there's a way to do this. And the thing about it is when I tell you what it is, Odds are really good you're going to think it's not going to work or you're going to think it's insulting. But it does and it's not because, you know, you can feel temporarily insulted if you do. I hope you don't, but you might. And then go get your thing done or you can feel depressed and unhappy because you never did it. These are pretty much your choices. So I recommend giving it a try. And here's what works. Take a tiny little step. And I don't just mean what people think of baby steps, okay? Baby steps can actually be pretty big steps if you've ever watched a baby when they finally start walking. Martha Beck calls them turtle steps. And that's, that's much closer to what I'm talking about. You wanna take the smallest step that you know you will not fail at. Because it's the fear of failure or the actual failure that knocks you off course. But if you take the smallest step that you know, obviously, yes, I can do that, which is the part where you might feel insulted, it's still a step closer. And by a tiny little step, I am not talking, today I'm going to sit down and I'm going to write the first five lines of a new song. No, 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 no. That's an enormous step if you're feeling daunted and challenged and like you can't do something. That is way too big. Because what happens if you'd only get one line. What happens if you only get three bars? You know where you're going to end up. No. You do the smallest thing you know you cannot fail at. That may just be sitting down at the piano with a piece of blank staff paper for five minutes and doing nothing else. I can hear what's going on in your head right now. Like, Duh, who can't do that? That's stupid. Here's why it's not stupid. Who can't do it? You can do it. You know you can do it. If you are that blocked, even getting that far is an accomplishment. Sit there for five minutes. Don't do anything else. Because you know you can't fail. And then you figure out what the next step that you know you can't fail at is. It may be as small as sitting down at that piano with a blank piece of staff paper and a pen in your hand for five minutes. Don't lie to yourself about this stuff or you're going to set yourself up to fail and you're going to end up right back where you started. Now, if you know that you can sit down with a pen in your hand and write two bars of music, you are absolutely dead sure that you can get that far. Then that can be your small step. It may just be that you're going to write your name at the top of the page. I mean, the fear of the blank page is a real thing. Staring down a blank page with nothing on it is terrifying. Putting your name on it means it's not blank anymore. And again, you may think that this sounds really insulting. But if you are sure you will not fail, it is still a step in the right direction. And it will get you farther than saying... That sounds stupid. I'm not going to do it. So it's your choice. You can decide that small steps are a waste of your time and not get anywhere. Or like the turtle, you can take the small steps that will build up the momentum that will keep you going until you get to a place where flow starts to happen. That's your call. But it doesn't have to be so hard. Part of what blocks us is the belief that it being hard is just normal and part of the process and we have to just suck it up and deal. No, no, that keeps us blocked. 
because we're telling ourselves that it has to be hard. It doesn't have to be hard. Make it easy. Outwit the three-headed dog from Greek mythology, or was it five, one or the other, that is guarding your creativity and doesn't want to let it out. The old story of throwing the sop to Cerberus, that's basically what we're doing here. We're throwing the dog something to eat that distracts it long enough to get it out of the way so we can get in that cave and get the creativity we want. That's all this is. It just sounds bizarre because you've never heard of it before, but I promise you it works. Tiny steps are magic because when you break things down that small, even the most daunting thing becomes possible because you can do each individual little step. If you try to do it all at once, you're going to get knocked out. At least if you're blocked at all, obviously in some circumstances, you can just sit down and be, you know, your inner Mozart and channel that whole sonata at one time. But most of us can't do that. And most of us get stuck along the way. So if you're really in trouble, break it down, break it down so small that you know, you cannot fail. This can be tricky because we all think that tiny steps are actually bigger than tiny steps. You know, like I said, there's a world of difference between sitting down and, and having that blank piece of paper in your hand and sitting down and filling it. So if you're having trouble, I'm here for you. I want to hear how it goes. I want to hear your thoughts and your questions and whatever you'd like me to talk about. You know where to find me. It's in the show notes. And like I said, if you need some extra help, give me a shout. I'm here. But I hope that if you give it a try, you'll be pleasantly surprised. And I want to hear about that too. So give it a whirl. Have fun with it. Make it okay to take itty bitty little steps to get that brain where you want it to go. This is a great example of going around a block rather than destroying it. But most of all, have fun. And I hope that it helps you get started if you're feeling stuck. Let me know. I'll talk to you next time.